Air Hari Mai. Welcome back to Daily Demos with Miss McBride. I have Frankie here with me. She's very grumpy. Don't know why. She's super angry with me. But she's going to help us make some jelly soap. So this morning we were looking at how the soap molecules that you use to wash your hands can make any little viruses that you have in your hands explode and all the virus material goes everywhere and the water washes it away. So it makes sense for us to make our own soap. So we're making jelly soap because it's a little bit wobbly, a little bit squidgy, it's see-through, it's going to be coloured and it's going to have some little surprises inside. So it's going to be really really fun. But why don't we start our lesson with our karakia. Mahunga ki aro. Manawa mai te mori nuku, manawa mai te mori rangi, ko te mori keo he mori tipua, ka pakaru mai te po, tau mai te mori, homi e hui e taiki e. Ka fai. All right, so we're all ready to get started. So I've got Kai and Koala again today, who's very excited about making the jelly soap. So I'm going to walk you through what you need. Okay, so you can pause me after this to make sure that you have all the ingredients that you need. So first, you need gelatin. So that's powdered gelatin that you can get from the supermarket. You need boiling water, one cup. Just from your kettle, so get an adult to help you with that. You need liquid hand soap, so that can be um, soap that you use to wash your hands in the bathroom. It could also be some kind of body soap that you use, body wash from your shower. You also need food coloring, so I've chosen blue and green, and the reason I've chosen blue and green is because I'm going to put some little toys inside my soap. One of them's going to be a little green dinosaur to go with my green food colouring. And I got a little red ladybug because I think red and blue look really nice together so that's going to go in the blue soap. You also sort of need a little teaspoon a bowl, uh, muffin cases, or if you just have any little cupcake cases, and a tray so that you don't spill all your soap when you are taking it into the freezer. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that you do is you get your bowl and you put in your one cup of boiling water. Okay, then what you need to do is you need to get your gelatin. Where's the gelatin? Gelatin. Oh. Thank you. And you're going to do two. This is a test of my strength. Two teaspoons, like quite heaped teaspoons of gelatin. Thanks, Koala. And you're going to let it dissolve in your boiling water. So I'm actually going to get a fork and I'm going to stir it until it dissolves. Ooh, that smells terrible. Ugh. Okay, be warned. Smells like poo. Frankie, it smells so bad. Do you want to smell it? Smell that. It's terrible, eh? I know. I know. Astounding. Okay, it's almost dissolved now. going to add half a cup of 
liquid hand soap or body wash. You interested now, huh? dissolved and now I'm going to put in my first color so I'm just going to divide the mixture between two bowls so I can have green and blue Be careful if it's a pouring one because it comes really fast. Okay, and now we're going to mix it together. Mm, yeah, that looks great. Oh, so I've got my green and my blue. Excellent. Okay, now is the fun part. You get to choose the toys that you want to put in or what you could do is you could get stickers from an old exercise book, just cut them out of the page because they don't need to be sticky. Uh, or anything else that you want to put inside your soap that's not going to dissolve in water um, or affect the environment. So maybe don't put things like sprinkles in there or glitter unless you have biodegradable glitter. So I've chosen my ladybug and my little dinosaur. So I'm going to make one with a ladybug, one with a little dinosaur, and actually I have a hippo, just stay there. And a tiger. I've also got a hippo and a tiger. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to pour my soap mixture into the oops, muffin cases. I'll just put that on the tray. So that it doesn't wobble everywhere, everywhere and spill when I try to take it to the oven. I mean the freezer. Okay. Pour that. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of soap. I might need to get another muffin, muffin case. Okay, lots of green. And a couple of blue. And I'll need to get some more muffin cases because I have so much soap. But this is what it looks like before it goes in the freezer. So I'm just going to take it to the freezer and I'll show you later what it looks like when it's finished. I just got the jelly soaps out of the freezer. You can also put them in the fridge and check it out. They're looking great. So we can see inside the dinosaur one and little ladybug hiding in there. Perfect for bath time or for putting on the side of your sink. Love it. Fantastic. Frankie's very happy. Oh, okay. Time to feed her. Now let's do our closing karakia to have a little practice. Kia inoi tato. Kapa ki tua. Kapa ki waho, kapa ki te fare, kapa ki te roa, kapa ki te pau e tū nei, ki a mā te araki, ki a mā te tauira, nō hau e roa tau, e tāne te wairua e, whānō, whāna, haramai te toki, 
Homie, who ye, taiki ye. So that's how you make your own jelly soap. I hope that you really enjoy it at home and I can't wait to hear about the soaps that you've made once we're back at school. Uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow for daily demos because we are going to be doing art tomorrow. We'll be doing visual art, so we're going to be doing drawing or painting. So I'd love to see you there. Hopefully I will. Frankie, say goodbye. Oh, she doesn't want to. Frankie says bye. She's bye, bye.